Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, In Times Like These, or Any Time. And our scripture is Psalm 63. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. A few weeks ago, I sent an email to all our Rocky Road followers to encourage us as we continue under the duress of the coronavirus pandemic. Included in the message were four questions. Question number one was, what hope sustains you in this crisis? Number two, what are you doing to stay positive? Number three, how is this crisis challenging your faith? Number four, how has God spoken to you in all this? One family sent a very thoughtful response which pretty much nails my thoughts on what sustains us during life's crises and even when there's no threat. Here's the answer and it's printed with uh, permission. We may not send a video, but would love to share our answer to question number two. What are you doing to stay positive? We read from the Holy Bible daily. We actually started our daily devotions as a couple approximately 18 months ago. We sing a hymn or two together and lift praises and requests through prayer to our Heavenly Father. These very basic actions deliver the answer to the other three questions. They deliver hope develop our faith, and allow God to speak to us. This response is dear to my heart because it so reflects what my experience has been in writing these devotional thoughts. God's Word says it this way in Psalm 119, 147, I rise early before the sun is up. I cry out for help and put my hope in your words. The truth is, Plain, unvarnished, undiminished, undiluted is that we need a guide for this life as much as I would need a technology expert if I were to open the back of my computer and start messing around with all the little wires and such. We come into this world with precious little understanding of God other than that this stamp of his being is on our souls. Daily seeking and hot pursuit after knowing God is the calling of every human spirit. It's that seeking after God that made King David and his son Solomon wise. It's amazing and surprising just how a small thing like choosing to come close to God each morning changes everything. In the quiet of a morning, minus the snoring of my little dog who studies with me each day, God's word speaks to my heart, and I cannot tell the numbers of times there have been little dawnings in my soul, awakenings that have charted my course for that day, whether it requires social distancing or not. But it's not in the method, whether it's early morning or late evening or standing or sitting or which version of the Bible you use. It's all about the surrender of the heart. A surrendered, willing heart is God's fertile soil for what he wants to accomplish in and through a person. And it is all personal, which extends to the circles of relationship all around you. When God speaks to your heart in and through his word, and that heart hears, and that courage is called forth, kingdoms of darkness are broken with the entrance of light. Sometimes... It's as simple as carrying a meal to a homebound person, or taking time with the next-door neighbor's child who wants to talk, or stocking your car with bottles of water or McDonald's coupons to hand to that homeless guy you've passed too many times without meeting a need for the daily bread that was his prayer and the sign he's holding up with a stained, leathery hand. God's Word is more than a light for your path and a lamp for your feet It's also a word of encouragement for the downtrodden through your actions. For you today. So, what did his word speak to your heart today? And will the rest of you hear it? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.